I'm the thing he's flying this Also known as a buster Always talking about what he wants And just sits on his broke ass So no, I don't want your number No, I don't wanna give you What's good? We back with another banger video Um, so this video is kind of random So it might be short, but I don't know But I seen some folks do this And that's why I Oh, with quarantine going on, you know, I've been binge watching a lot of shows. So why not share those? Y'all like when I help y'all out. And some of these shows y'all might know already. Some of them y'all not. That didn't make sense. Some of y'all might know already. Some of y'all might not. Some of these shows y'all might know already. Some of these shows y'all might not know. Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, so it's not no specific order. So it's not like top 10 or none of that it's just 10 shows to binge watch while during quarantine you know and these are all on netflix if y'all want a hulu version or if y'all want um just in general anyway let's get into the video i didn't really plan this out so i didn't really write notes about each show i just made a list and i don't know i'm really just winging this video so first i have gossip girl basically what it says is about a gossip girl it's like someone who um send out tests somehow the whole city got their phones linked to this text messaging where someone could text out like everybody gossip or whatever it's more to the story it's real interesting it's, it's about best friends and school and they go off to college and all that it's a good show a lot of plot twists um a lot of drama so if you're into that type of stuff you might like it just give it a try upper east side playground to all my friends want to know how the rich and popular live well, I live to dis and tell. Meet the former it girl. I needed to get away from everything. Please just trust me. How can I trust you when I feel like I don't even know you? Um, the second show I got is Black Lightning. I actually started this show during quarantine. That was my first quarantine binge watch. And I just didn't sleep. That That's probably why my sleep schedule is like messed up right now. Because I was watching Black Lightning. And, um yeah i would stay up like all night it's only two seasons on netflix but they coming out with a third season i think or is it three seasons on netflix and they coming out with fourth season i don't know but it's really good grace jen i can't see nothing can you see now did you have sex with him how did you know that was a conversation two good looking teenagers on the run in danger i ain't gotta be miss cleo to figure that out <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd always have your back. Um, next is Grey's Anatomy. I suggest you watch it last because it's like 16 seasons. I'm only on season six, so I'm not done with it. But so far, I've been watched that too. Um, it's really good, especially if you're into like medical field because I'm into um nursing and stuff like that. But this is with surgeons, and it goes really deep into like the surgeries and stuff so you learn some and it's also really interesting and it's a little drama in there too so but it's not like a big drama show but it's really good that's not gonna change the house you are going to sell becomes your home the roommates you are forced to take in become your family you're my sister you're my family you're all i've got and the one night stand you were determined to forget becomes the love of your life this is forever. The seven years you spend here as a surgical resident will be the best and worst of your life. You will be pushed to the breaking point. This is your starting line. This is your arena. How well you play. Trauma protocols, phone list, pagers. The nurses will page you, you answer every page at a run. Let's move, people. Are you serious? That was a heart attack. <laughs> um, then I have Riverdale. The thing with Riverdale is around season two, around season two or three, you might get confused or you might fall back from the show because I took a break from the show because they had a lot of, um, it seemed kind of fantasy kind of, like Miss very fictional yeah i think that's the word like it just didn't seem real but if you keep watching it like if you push past that like i had to do which i recently did it's a great plot to that like it's really not as magical as you think it's actually a big plot to it you just have to um 
watch it yourself and see but it's a lot of um the last season the last two seasons like the end of season three and all of season four is a lot of plot twists and it's a lot of drama it's just so much that you'll be surprised about like the last season was really good and they're also not finished with that because of because of coronavirus they didn't post the last three episodes to that season so when season um five come out they'll post the last three episodes got this show called the society i think it's only one season so if you want a short little binge watch like marathon or whatever it's one season of the show another season haven't came out yet but it is on netflix it's about a high school that went on a trip and when they came went on a trip and when they came back everybody was gone like they was the only people there all the teachers all the adults were gone basically it was just the high school so like imagine imagine you if you're in high school or when you was in high school or when you're about to be in high school just imagine your whole school been in your hometown and like nobody else there like y'all gotta figure out how to survive y'all gotta figure out where your parents went like you really and they, they've been there for a while now so it's a good show it's different but i like to go we were children this is who we are now place looks like home but it's not there's nothing out there guys we're all alone mom i'm alive and Allie is alive we just want to be with you at home if there is a home next one is everyone's favorite which is you um, it took me a while to finish the second season, but I'm so glad I did because it was a great plot twist in the second season. But this is basically about a stalker. But I mean, he's just in love. I, if you like me, you see nothing wrong with what Joe be doing. Well, maybe a little, a little tiny wrong, but he be making like he be making it seem so understand. Like you understand why he do why he do. Like he just have mental problems and he takes stuff too far. But he have a reason for everything. So that's a great show. Next one is All American. This show is amazing. I knew the show way before everybody else was watching it. Way before it got on Netflix. So everybody just needs to catch up. Because this show is amazing. Um, my first time watching it was years ago. It was on TV. And I seen this episode. It was basically... Um, two boys is getting pulled over and they was um getting treated wrong because of the color of their skin by the police but that got me hooked off of that and that was like the middle of the season i just walked past the tv and saw that part and i was like oh yeah i gotta watch this show what is it what is it but really the show didn't have nothing to do about race and stuff like that that was just one little part so the show is really awesome <laughs> Excuse me, Spencer James. I'm Billy Baker, varsity coach, Beverly High. You're impressed about there. I want you to come play for me. Play for you? Yes, sir. For me. All right, South Crenshaw, y'all got a strong team, but Beverly Hills can offer you something that Crenshaw can't. Better education at a safer school. What's up with you and this kid, Dad? Why do you care so much? I come from Spencer's neighborhood. You have no idea what that's like. You got the goods on and off the field. I knew it from the first day I met you, right here in this park. Boy, I see it. You gotta go. You're proud of where you're from, but tell me that going to Beverly isn't the best thing for you, baby. I need you to do me a solid. Take Spencer under your wing. Help him connect with the fellas. Yo, you must be Spencer. I'll bring him into the fold. What the hell are you doing? I'm picking you up, man. In your red car? In your red hat? You're gonna get your head blown off. And then it's this show called Safe. 
Now, safe, you gonna really have to pay attention to gym, but it's really, if you into, like, mysteries and stuff, I feel like you like this show. Like, if you watch CSI, well, it's really not about a death or anything, but if you watch, like, CSI or something, then you'll like it. This dude, his, um, daughter went missing, and basically he's just trying to figure out, like, what happened to her, and he dig real deep into her friends and stuff like that. She went to a party, and he's just trying to figure out what she on drugs and all that good stuff. It's more to it, but it's a really good plot. Um, it's real interesting because they live in a gated community. It's a really good show. Gated community. You can see who comes in and who goes out. See you later. Not too late. Okay. It's safe. Jenny, it's Dad again. Where are you? This man wants to know if you've seen his daughter. Jenny's missing. This is the last place she was seen. Someone must know something. What are you insinuating? 16 year old Jenny Delaney. She's been reported missing. There's a problem. Nine out of ten disappearances are connected to somebody now. I'm going to talk to him. I'll come with you. I've been back in the army. Yeah, just like it. It doesn't add up. I know you got your suspicions, but just remember where you are. One thing you learn in my job no one knows anyone. Not really. The next show is on my blog. It's about a couple of teenagers who basically dig into like the mystery of their town, kind of. Um, they just trying to find more information. The first season is all about them finding something called Roller World Money and finding out like if this dude is dead or not. And the second season is someone basically um, blackmailing them because they found that money and making them help her or whatever but you have to watch it it's more to it and it's also a couple of love um connections built in that show which are really good the people are very interesting high school is the foundation for the rest of your life there's only one chance at a first impression to yeah. work hard put your heart out there and don't go into high school without backup. You need to stick together to survive. Got it? One last thing. Don't bum Monse. <laughs> <laughs> high school is an op for reinvention. Mamacita. Goodbye romance, hello trauma. <laughs> Bitches be bonkers. And my old friends couldn't keep up. I'm not throwing no shots, but I'm gonna show you my gun. I'm gonna take my chance. Loyalty trumps victory, compa. I'm gonna scream it to the top of my lungs. Damn, Ruby, I see you. And I'm down with it. I like the freaky. <laughs> oh, friends are turning to. The end. This life. It's my destiny. Let's do it. Caesar, no! How are we gonna survive high school? I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been going through changes. Can you please break down what's going on? It's complicated. We're dysfunctional. Understatement. What else with me? We don't need luck. It's Brentwood. Nothing bad happens here. How about OJ? No offense, Jamal. No, oh, I'm good. We don't claim him. for a quarter to six, so it's 710. Just as long as... I'll never be that stupid again. Oh, sure you will. Have you lost your mind? Boy, with the poodles are... It's a show. It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. Like I said, this was a short video. I know I talk fast. I'm probably gonna insert like video clips from each show. If I don't, don't be mad at me if I didn't do it. But if I did, then you saw that I did it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to, or I might insert the trailer 
or anything. I don't know. I might do something like funny scenes from the show or most important scenes. Like just something to get y'all to grasp onto the show. Like so you can like it. Hopefully I helped a little bit. I know most of these shows y'all probably was already watching. But some of them y'all probably never heard of. And I hoped I helped. Yeah. But if y'all want a Hulu version of this, or if y'all want a movie version of this, y'all want Netflix movie suggestions, you know, just comment down below. I'm just trying to get videos out because with quarantine, I'm running out of ideas. Y'all know most of my videos is me in college and I just been at home. I just been at home and I'm really trying to keep videos out for y'all. But it's just like, <sighs> I just miss school. I just really miss school. And that's where all the good videos was coming from. So I just really got to work with what I got and I'm trying to stay consistent because consistency is key. Man, just give me 1k subscribers, please. With that being said, make sure you like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Also, click the notification bell. That way, every time I post a banger video, you can know. And... Hold on.